frame one grenade. Yeah. Getting out of a lot of those multi hits. Messed up a lot of the combos. It's really if uh, Yams, I believe, his tag is. I'm not sure if he can get good bomb placement. I've heard good things about Yams. Uh, third floor was telling me that he was definitely a force to be reckoned with. So we'll see how Sig adapts. I don't know if he's familiar with the snake matchup, but I believe Six of all brawl veterans, so he might know. Really? Okay. What the Smash Four don't? Yeah, I I have no clue how to fight Snake. A lot of the Smash Four players, myself included don't realize that Snake has such a horrible disadvantage state, so if you get him in there, he's done for. Yeah. Um, Not even 40 seconds in, Snake's already at 140 because of Ness's great combo game. And Sig, knowing yeah, at I least enough that, um, that explosions could be absorbed. Yeah, I forgot that they could, he has, yeah, that's actually busted, wow. Oh, I wonder if he can absorb, dang, if he can uh, absorb Nikita, like. He can only absorb explosions, not the actual projectile itself. Okay. Cause that's about to be like that is that's gonna make it so much easier for him to recover. Oh, that F smash! If it would have connected, Sig, Sig definitely taking so control solid. over this match. Yeah, absolutely. That down smash now with an everlasting hitbox. Can it below ledge? He's, oh, he couldn't tech. He couldn't tech. Too he much answers that too high of a percent. Sig with this three to one advantage. I feel like he's running away with this, but Snake, he has such a potent kill game. Yeah. So this might be possible. With a few edge guards, with Snake's, if he gets air dodge through, hit his lightning bolt, this could be a close match. I don't know. Snake's kind of running away with this. Oh, he plants a C4. If Yams doesn't adapt soon, this might be one of the quickest sets we see tonight. Yeah, but a good up smash. Up smash covering ledge so great. That was a greedy up smash right there, I gotta say. My man Yams is searching for this kill. PK Fire hits now. Both characters. They're both fishing for the kill. Up tilt will kill and it, yeah. there, it does there. Great up tilt. Snake doesn't have that many great kill, I mean, low percent combos. But if he can combo into that C4, oh, this could be something big. 43% on one hit. This could be massive for him. Yams is kind of looking nice right now. Hit him with the up smash. That back air lasts forever, dude. If he hits that F smash, it could be six stock and it could be a oh last stock situation. Playing that C4. He's ready to blow it up right Sig now. Sig is baiting for that heal. Yeah. He just killed a lot Yance of Yams has definitely brought this back with that great buffer tech. He might be able to come back from this. All right, that might have been an F tilt, but bad DI on Yams. Even with Snake's big body, that back air is going to take him from across I'm the stage. You, my man third floor wasn't lying. This guy's kind of looking clean. Yams with that weak start, but with that great finish, I feel like if he brings that same energy to game two, he can easily bring it back. Yeah, absolutely. Sig was, Sig was kind of popping, but Yams is really doing amazing. It's such a seesaw type of match when the snake is in disadvantage she will get train ran on yeah but he has such a great advantage he can do so much percent if he starts going he keeps on uh what's up Nitro? six changing buddy? over to pichu there it's gonna be a, tr a true battle of odds both with horrible disadvantage states but great advantage states this is gonna be possibly a very combo heavy match Pichu dying to up to the almost 90%. Pichu will die very early, but Pichu can combo so a bit good with that big combo game. Great grenade. It's just really which character can get in first and if they can stay in. Great parry by Yam. A great this parry, but showing up. he forgot that Pichu's dare has a two hit. Yeah. That's that grenade looming. Is just the simple presence of grenade takes up. Okay, the simple presence of grenade takes up so so much space that it scares the opponent. This is a great tool, and if he can use that to better effect, I feel like he can easily just deny Pichu space. Yeah, but Pichu, I mean, Sig has definitely got the lead here, but at the same time, Pichu being the lightest character in the game is at kill percent. Down smash, back hit, killing at 90% cross stage. 
but also All right. at Snake at 187, almost any of his moves kill, including F tilt. Yeah, great F tilt by Snake. Running F tilt, easily one of Pichu's best killing options, even though it looks like one of his weakest. He just weaving in and out of these explosions. If he hits his combos, his up airs, his fares, and his dares, this might be something special. Auto cancel that. He's hit the second hit. Pichu yeah. Dare is one of the only moves you really don't want to auto cancel. But second it be so down great. Air. But he gets that great down air knowing that Snake has a big six Pichu showing up right now. That was beautiful. If he hits a nice combo here, each grab can do almost 30%, so he might be able to do some nice damage here. Oh my gosh. What a dream! Oh my gosh, he is in this man's head right now. Oh my gosh, but the up tilt almost killing it at like 50. Oh, he's it's crazy to say, but Pichu's that kill percent. Pichu's that kill percent. Okay, that's going to be my end of my session, but thanks, Mart. Yeah, nice commentation. Yo, Thermal, you better get in here for this match. Yo, I, I'm game. already watching wow. this match. Oh my goodness, I was watching this match from the other side. It's pretty hype. Yep, just got deleted off the Pretty screen. hype, dude, y'all. He put up a great fight, but six Pichu's just overwhelmed.